Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and welcome to Dat 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 French Fry Potatoes Battlefield 3. Also known as, I'm running a Glock secondary, so I automatically feel gangster. Now, beyond that, the first thing I need to tell you about are the flashlights, bro. Okay, listen to this. What in Gordon Freeman's name is that? Is that like the... The brightness of a thousand suns being shown upon my face, just raining down upon me. Okay, let's make a comparison. Okay, there's the flashlight. There's the sun. Okay, there's the sun. Give me your sandwich, sun! Okay, but, okay, there's the flashlight, there's the sun. There's the flashlight, and there's the sun. Do you see what I'm saying here? Why is the flashlight brighter than the sun during the day? I don't understand, but Carl number one and Carl number two, what are you doing? Why would you ever stand up? Like, what? You run places? Who runs places nowadays in Battlefield 3? You either, you prone or you do this worm movement everywhere, but... Another thing I would like to identify are the... Is the commando lunge, okay? You, a few people said, oh, the knife is totally balanced. Well, sometimes, with the people that know how to use it, there is a commando lunge. Okay, look. Give me your sandwich, dog! Oh my gosh! And you saw him do the electric slide across, like, a good three to four feet to do that, so... And it's also scripted, and yet again, it's it's scripted so as soon as he hits it, you really can't do anything about it, you're just boned, but... Uh, camping hallways is another thing that I would like to identify, okay? A lot of people like to camp hallways, bro, Chacho, and the easy way to do that is... I like to call it small and clear as I get Bob Dole here. Bob Dole. Bob Dole is not like what you're doing with the small. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. And for those of you that don't know who Bob Dole is, Bob Dole is Bob Dole. And Bob Dole supports Bob Dole. Okay, just so we're clear. And predictably, a third shot, third kill. And I call it small and clear. It's a lot like breach and clear where, you know that technique where you go in and you shoot all the hostages and you spare all the terrorists? Yeah, it's a long story. I wouldn't explain about it. But this is what I don't like about this particular section here and in the beginning too I am just owning Carl's like look at this guy coming around yeah you think you can kill me but feel free to run past and get shot in the hip and then this guy thinks that he knows where I am I think not catfish because I'm behind the checkout counter which is clearly a better barrier than whatever you're doing with your saw but this is what I don't like okay as I die here but I got that Glock for you ninja I get one guy but I die this is what I don't like. It's too easy for the defenders to just absolutely destroy the attackers once they get a base. Okay, so we just captured the first base. I'm frolicking in the bushes, trying to get to the second base, and Tiny Duckling shoots me in the face with the overpowered SVD, which is a two-shot at most range kill semi-auto sniper. And there's too much of an incentive to st stay inside the attacker's spawn as a defender after they get the base. So what I think, like constructive criticism, I think they should get the catfish defenders facilitated outside of the attacker's spawn, somehow. Maybe they have to put like an artillery zone, you know, like a gray area where you have to get out of quickly, like Bad Company 2, but somehow we need to get the defenders outside of the attacker's spawn once they get a base, because if you stay in there, you can milk kill so much, it's like a complete catfish, but it can happen, okay? And like I said, the... In my personal opinion, the MK11 and the SVD are clearly overpowered. I know other people are talking about the M416 and the PB2K, but it'll all balance out, I think, eventually. But this guy runs by a uh, nice prone movement, and they all lurk in these buildings, okay? They all lurk in these buildings. Like, look, just I'm just going to go ahead and reload, enter this room, and just... Sp so many chatty Cathy's. Look at this Gabfest. Biggest Gabfest of Battlefield 3. I got the Glock for you, Ninja, but I die. You see... And you know what I think? It is not difficult to spray people down in this game, okay? Quad sprays are not difficult. And by not difficult, I mean just kind of hold down the trigger and they'll just kind of fall one by one. I don't know what that was. But it, I can easily say that there are so many... It's like every person in the opposing team is just a chatty Cathy just looking for a gab fest. Like, that's really what a lot of this amounts to. But... I mean, there's narrow corridors, and there's a lot of hallways where you have to go down to get to the objective, so a lot of that gab fe I don't want to say gab festery, because that's not even close to catfishery in, in terms of making sense, but there's a lot of places where you're automatically funneled, so gab fests are acceptable, if you will. Now, a lot of times, I like to think that I should be using a shotgun on this base, right? Because the shotguns are fine and dandy, like, look... 
Oh, boom! And another guy's gonna be coming around. Look, look at this MLG. I'm so MLG Pro and I crouch walk. I think not. My shotgun and my buckshot really think otherwise. And, uh, boom! And skadoosh! Oh, man, do a barrel roll, please, before you do a backflip. And I like the shotguns, but sometimes the detection are a little... A little shoddy, if you will, but when you whip out your shoddy like John Gotti, it's even got good range. Like, that's decent range. But the frag rounds are not as cool as you think they are, okay? You would think frag rounds, really cool, right? But no. They look like fireballs, which is pretty awesome, but they usually take about two shots to kill, and they're really inaccurate and kind of weird with the hit detection, so frag rounds, not as cool as they are really cut out to be. Because, I mean, I say the... Like, if I say the word frag round, you're like, dude, that's awesome, bro, bro fist. And this guy didn't want a bro fist for some reason, but frag round's not as cool as they sound. Get a second guy. This third guy, he gave me a little bit of problem because I had 10% health, so I'm basically boned either way. I'm not, I'm not expecting to win that gunfight, but that guy was such a catfish. So logic, he's already an officer. That's with the rank of colonel, so he's like something like... 40 something already I don't know what he was doing to rank up that fast but he was RPGing all day long now beyond that I definitely would like to oh the reason that I'm doing this last base and I get this guy and I'm gonna just like the last few shots okay somebody loves to lurk in this hedge there's this hedge just beyond the spawn of B and uh, just beyond that base the objective of B right there okay so you're gonna see it in just a second here okay there's the hedge Everyone just camps in the hedge and just waits for somebody to sh come out of the defending spawn. And I got a headshot on this guy, but this is what I don't like, okay? If I'm a, an attacker here and I get Tiny Duckling Revenge, if I'm an attacker here, it's sort of easy just to keep the defenders pinned back in the spawn. Do a barrel roll, please! And that's something that I don't like. It's too easy for me to keep the defenders pushed back into their spawn. That guy, I think, tried to drop shot. I think not. And this is just me basically tearing apart the entire team because they all are in here and they're usually all trying to find a window it's like if you're stealing my window I'm mad at you and I'm gonna team kill you but there's not team killing on all servers I remember I, I think I went into a French server because I clicked quick match and there were all these catfishes TK including myself because I don't like French people not really that's clearly a joke and if you're French don't get offended but you're not gonna go to war with me anyway so I'm really not that concerned and Yes, the laser side is not as a... I don't really notice a huge bit of utility. I got that Glock for you, ninja! But I, I don't notice a whole lot of utility in the laser side other than telling the enemy, Hey, bro, I'm right here, bro. Feel free to shoot me now that you know exactly where I am due to the laser side on your face because I... I don't know. I just go prone instantly as soon as I get a laser pointed directly at my face. But I... The reason that I gave you such a short little gameplay here is because I wanted to show you guys the last objective. I know you guys probably haven't seen a whole lot of the last objective. And the first objective is really lame because it's just everybody's a bush monster. Everybody's prone. I just like the last base a little bit more because of the urban environment. So that's all that I have for you guys. I will see you guys next time. And I'm going to add a few bonus clips, maybe one or two on the end here just to satisfy your bonus clip needs and uh, so many so many pins like da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. I know it, it really does a lot of uh, sound effects with that but I will see you guys next time Alf Wiedersehen Alf Wiedersehen and later